The question is, find a tri trigonometric function to match the graph, and there's a graph there. I've copied the graph onto the whiteboard really big so I can draw on it, and I've just put some grid lines in to make it easier for me to know where things happen on my graph. Well, we have to find a trig function that matches that. So it has to have something involving sine or cos or tan, um, and possibly we have to do some adding and multiplying of other things to make it look like that. But it looks like a sine graph to me because it goes up and then down and then up again. So I'm assuming it's going to be sine of something. Now normally sine does its up and down at the x-axis. But this one does its up and down at the line y equals 2. So it occurs to me that perhaps it should be y equals sine x. And we should actually have 2 plus sine x. Now let's um, have a look more carefully. 2 plus sine x would actually only go from 1 to 3 because sine normally stretches from minus 1 to 1. My graph here stretches from 0 to 4, which is um, 4 units, and normally it only stretches 2 units. So from, you know, from the middle to the top is actually 2 units, and normally it's only 1, so it's twice as wide in the y direction, so it should actually be 2 plus 2 sine x, because multiplying outside the sine will stretch it outwards um, in the y direction. Uh, we're nearly there, we should just have a look in the other direction. Now normally sine um, would go up and reach its highest point at pi on 2, and then come back down and cross um, your axis again at pi, but instead it's actually crossed at 4 pi. So the whole graph's actually been stretched outwards by multiplying by 4. And the way to achieve that would be to divide by 4 inside the brackets just here. So my graph actually is 2 plus 2 sine x on 4. And um, I think that was all we had to do, find a possible trig function that matched the graph, and we have.